Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Now just three races left in the 2023 season. Phoenix is up next. And with a very tight race against Toyota last time out, we're definitely needing to be at our best here. So we did get some pit crew in, or did not rather. Uh, there was some potential options out there as backups, but nobody actually improved where we are at the moment. Still not perfect there, but we're going to have to deal with it. Sponsors... We do have some more offers and actually better ones. So we could go with the upfront payment. That probably would actually make the most sense. But money doesn't isn't an immediate need. So I'm actually going to go here, which is the best on a per race basis. So this was a case where actually waiting for more offers to come in uh, was the proper move here. So I like that. And then this is something that's really confusing. Remember, we we're down like about here last time. And we haven't gotten any new parts in or put any new parts out. So there's no reason why we should be up this close to Toyota again. So I, there's something wrong with this. And I don't even know. I mean, was it accurate before? Is it accurate now? Not the first time we've seen that. But it usually seems to be correct. Anyway, we have for Phoenix the engine, spec, the nose, and the rear wing. Our rear wing is maxed out to the most it can be, so we're going to max out our nose. We'll just barely finish that before the race. And then we'll start working at our, on our weak part, the suspension. And, of course, the one gearbox out here just to get a little bit done with it. So all of that is looking pretty good. And uh, I often am disappointed or not predicting correctly, but I feel pretty optimistic about Phoenix at this point. We'll see how it goes. Well, here's what they say about Phoenix. No lap record, 2.6 miles. Nose is the key part. Good for us that we're working on it. Design center, we should upgrade. No. Sponsors are complaining with the hospitality. Getting a bit of a bad reputation. It's making us seem rather less attractive. Get one of the drivers to put in a few appearances over the weekend. Hmm, boy, team marketability plus 30. How was Castellier's uh, morale? Because they're the one that suggested, yeah, it's maxed out. So her losing 30 morale is not going to be the end of the world for us. Wrong spot. And definitely worth the price in my opinion. Let's go with it. And then, this is just silly. Now, somebody caught us in rear wing, fine. But even before that, our overall dropped, even though we're improving our nose, which is the most important part. So, you know, that whatever is what I have to say about all that. Just plain whatever. Okay. Toyota expect to do well. They're supposed to be the favorites. Not liking that. And then... Um, Poppy or is hoping to do better. Calderelli and the uh, Jackie Chan team not too excited about their chances. Still number one here, right? Yep. Okay. I think that hit our performance. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to go to the suspensions. And we'll get a little bit of work done on those. Not much. Okie dokie. So, 30 degrees, probably looking at mediums for Phoenix. As always, we'll want to test that out. If we look at our parts, we are fourth and second. That's a little better than we've been sitting. And they say that overall, yep, our car did slide. So second behind Toyota there, obviously engine's the same, gearbox third, suspension third. We, we ticked up just a hair there at the end of third, and then first. All right, time to see how things are in Arizona this year. Well, we did well in qualifying, well enough to make it in the top three, but once again fell short of the pole. And the real story there in qualifying is Rebellion Racing running away with it there. 
uh, pushing half a second. Uh, pretty competitive down the rest of the way, as you'd expect, with equalized engines. And Toyota down there in 5th and 6th. So we did well enough to expect to have a good chance of winning this race. We are sticking with uh, medium tires. And we've, the last couple years, and I expect to be the same, we've had to barely squeeze out uh, enough distance on them on this track, if I remember correctly. A little bit concerned about Dirk Muller. His form was really high, but he still just couldn't get it done in the qualifying. So hopefully that will pick up. Pretty strong form overall here. Could go either way, but we'll stick with Van Tour. We're going to take off a lot of this. It's a high fuel burn track. But still, we shouldn't need anywhere near that much distance at about a minute 20 there on our laps. So, we are going to go with, I could go with 35. I'm going to add one more to get 36. Looking strong. Might as well go with Ludwig. And, of course, again, down to 36. And away we go. 9, 7, and 7. Ludwig's still good, but Castelli looking excellent. And Van Hoor looking good. There we go. Again, Negrau had a, that one overlap early in the practice round, but now he's up to decent, but still. I like our overall start here. How about Toyota? Decent, but not great. And same for that. Okay, so the form comparison, at least early on, is in our favor. See if Ludwig and Van Hoer can hang close to the front. Probably not. Given most of the field is on soft tires, which I expect they will regret. Slightly different camera angle here than usual, but we'll stick with it. We are underway in Phoenix. The speed track and, of course, an endurance. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be six hours no matter how you slice it. Van Hoer sliding, but Ludwig able to hold on in second for now. Temperature, of course, going to rise early on. We'll let the tires do that. We will be some conserving in this race. We should not have to worry about the rain, though, of course. And Ludwig holding in a strong second behind the leaders. Van Hoer sliding, but he is not already starting to lap the slower traffic. And only a second behind, yeah, he was almost catching Papior there for a bit. That's pretty remarkable. Now fading quite a lot. But at the same time, Van Hoer back up to third. And so, yeah, five, nine, and six, eight. Uh, form not as quite as good as it looked pre-race, but still. We are riding well. Now closing up the gap again as that goes back and forth. It looks like we're going to make it in terms of the parts, or the, sorry, the tires. May have to drive him into the red to do it, but I'm okay with that. I'm getting a bit warm on the tires, and given our position, I see no reason to really push that. So we'll back off to conserve for a while. So definitely a better start here in Phoenix than we have had of late. If we were to hold second and third, we would win the race slightly ahead of Rebellion, 
well ahead of Toyota. I would be totally fine with that kind of result. Good first half hour. I always want to settle in and keep this going. Get some good work from the pit crew. And we're going fast enough. I think I'm going to go safe pit stops from the get-go. That could be a little bit of an aggressive thing. But I really like how we're doing so far. And I don't want anything to happen to screw it up. Particularly considering how competitive we are, even though we're running conserve and letting the the tire temps lag down. I really, really like how that's going. Yep, and then Papior is going to pit, so we're going to have some time here in first place. Not sure how long it'll last, but we're definitely going to take it. Now 20 plus seconds ahead of the field. I want to let that tire temp get all the way down there. Because we're going to be looking to stretch this out. I think we are going to get into the red or close to it. So, yep, that's probably about as low as we want to go now. We'll switch back up to neutral. It seems to be about 50-50 between, like, about halfway between neutral and conserve would be the sweet spot. So, we will not be changing too often. Twenty minutes more before we can make our first change. Really could not ask for a better start here in Phoenix for Alpine Matmut. Looks like we have enough fuel or possibly a little too much. Perhaps not. We're wearing it down pretty quick. I often don't recall, don't remember that this is a short track, so throws off those quick mental calculations a bit. Meanwhile, our form is not what it was. And I think we want to go back down to conserve. We got about 10 minutes, give or take. Speed it up for a bit longer. And yeah, I think we're going to comfortably make it on the tires. It's not even going to be as bad as I thought. Okay, somehow I wasn't paying attention to the fuel numbers. So we'll go hybrid. Let's be a little more cautious here now. We're going to want, well, I would like uh, Ventura to go in first. We're going to go in first with Ludwig, though, because he's lower on fuel. Okay. 
Going to be watching him real close. Is that 0.7 at the start of this lap? Yeah, we're going to have enough fuel to get to where we need to be. There we go. I think I want him to pit this lap. Yeah, just going fired up. That's too bad. Okay. Well, both of them looking good, so we'll go with Briscoe, the slightly more skilled driver. So we want to go down a little bit, but not too much. I think we're going to go with 33 here. Let's go safe. I mean, particularly with the higher risk factor we've got this race. That who will take one more lap. We'll be a little bit over, but not too much. And hold on, I don't want to be... You can even go on push on your tires for this lap. Definitely switch to Mueller. And Ludwig began well, but didn't finish well. 47 seconds on the stop. And same for Van Hoor, though we finished better, but Mueller looking very good. Hopefully that actually means something, unlike the way it turned out in qualifying. Almost identical pit times. And I think we're looking pretty good. Let's move this along. So we pit and still end up in first and second coming out. That's uh, remarkable for this early in the race. So this is a walk. Unless we screw. What the heck? Okay, a fire. I know what that's like. I saw that... Uh, <laughs> Last year. I don't think it was at this track. But yuck. Feel bad for them. Although it was class B. And let's go conserve. Let's see what kind of temperature we're at. Yeah, we're sticking at 30 for the foreseeable future. Now we're equalized on the energy. 20 some second lead. Both our teams close together. Nothing but apparent clear sailing ahead of us. Mediums appear to be near perfect tires for this track and conditions. Up through at least the halfway point of the race, there's going to be nothing new headed our way. Might want to take a nap or make a sandwich. Because that's about how entertaining this race looks like it's going to be. If it stays. If it stays. Where does that put us? Well, that puts us... Boy, Toyota's doing bad. If it stays like that, 75-point lead up from 44. That That's enormous. It wouldn't make the things a lock yet, but it would give us the opportunity to potentially clinch going into the last race. And car number one with Mueller 
actually is driving well because he's now in first. So we'll give him the right of showcase, as is our custom. Off of his fired up zone, though, and Briscoe will get that later, so possibly could switch that up. And probably a good time to go back to neutral. You can see, uh, you know, they're, they're closing on us. The best driver in the world, Lutterer, closing on us for Rebellion Racing. But it's still in a good position to be, and they're going to have to pit before we do, so I don't think they're going to even catch us, at least not on this stint. There it goes. We do have about a 20 second lead on them, and they have to pit as well. Meanwhile, we're a solid half an hour plus away from that point. We're going to be out here for a while. All the cars that started on soft tires, which was most of them, made a bit of a mistake. And there's Briscoe surging back into the lead sooner than I expected. Up to 8.4, Mueller 8.8. .8. Both drivers really doing a nice job. And look at that lead now. Looking to lap sixth place here. Battling back and forth. More battling. And Briscoe. Mistake on the tires there. That's really our first, and it's minor, but it's our first error of the race. No, but nobody bumping into each other. There was the fire for Class B, of course, but aside from that, it's been an extremely smooth day at the races. And let's go conserve. Still almost 20 minutes to go. I think we're going to want a little bit more tire to get there. We're somewhere around the right number in terms of fuel. We'll get a closer look at that soon. It's a little lower than I wanted to go. Let's switch back to neutral now. I think we should be able to sustain that the rest of the way. Six plus laps of fuel. We'll keep the same pit order. No reason to change it. Help keep our drivers out for the right amount of time. Down to 30% with about three minutes left on your stint. And that's right about where we'd like to be. Yep. Just noticed I'd overbake the fuel a bit again. Good time to slow down anyway. I think we had right about the correct amount of fuel. Probably back off one more lap of it. And now we'll pull in Briscoe. Ludwig not looking good, but hopefully he can pick it up. Kestelje is still in good condition. You know what? Actually, we're going to keep, I think, the same amount of fuel because we're going to want to run these 
This is the middle stint, which we always want to run just a bit longer than usual. Mueller will get to lead for at least the one lap. See who comes out of the that exchange first. Negrau. Same treatment. Seven point five to seven point one. That's quality driving all the way around for us. Another stop at just under forty seven seconds. Yep, coming down pit row at twenty six percent. I really like how that tire is working out for us. The growl will be a step down in terms of the overall driving form. Should allow car number two to edge out in front, but we will see. We're going to get a little bit of a dip, but not very long of one. You can go conserve. And hybrid there. Equalizing energy. There we go, and you can stop driving like a maniac now. Meanwhile, we continue to have the lead. Toyota doing a little bit better, but not well. If they don't pick it up, there's plenty of time for them to do that. Half the race. But if they don't, this will be a big, big step towards clinching that trophy. go neutral here I just want to equalize the tires I'm equal on energy so get the tires even and then I can look at basically either car and make my decisions on the fly that way Not going to happen, Andre. And I think that's pretty close. This might be a bit early. But, given the way the race is going, of course, the big advantage we appear to have, conserving the tires more makes sense. And we have now crossed the halfway mark. 
smooth as smooth can be. Toyota moving up the field a bit. Half an hour or so, and we will go a couple laps over on this stint. Uh, currently, we have lapped the entire field. And we'll go neutral again. at least for a time. Probably should be able to stay on it. Track's just gonna keep getting faster. Castelli is indeed pulling away from Negrau. She is looking solid, above average, and he's just sort of hanging out at not quite there. Tires are hanging in well. So I think we're going to stick on neutral for the rest of this stint. Who knows, maybe this time I'll remember to go hybrid early enough and not almost run my drivers out of fuel. That'd be something. You will be fine. There we go. Both drivers go in hybrid. And let's slow it down. Castelli's form picking up towards the end here somewhat. Negrau a little bit as well, but never quite got up to that even line. It looks like his day is just going to end as... Well, a disappointing one. So far, though, at least... Mueller had the disappointment in qualifying, but... Uh, today, in the race, where it really matters... None of the drivers, other than Negrau, really a disappointment. And that's... He hasn't done horrible. Just hasn't been great. I didn't really need to run him this far, but we'll send Castelli in after the next lap. One sooner probably would have been okay. Boy, I'm going to go Briscoe and hope Ludwig picks it up later. Let's definitely get new tires, though. And I think we're just a bit short on fuel here. Let's go 33. 33. Grau will wait another lap. That'll get his tires a bit low, so we'll go ahead and go conserve. If 
Five four for Briscoe. That'll that'll suffice, and we'll go Mueller, and then back up to Van Hoor. I'm gonna go one lap higher here. I probably don't need to. Just want to be safe. Forty-six seconds. Briscoe back out there, looking good on all things. The growl coming in with just slightly worn tires. Your day is done. See if Mueller can catch any of this gap. Slightly slower pit stop, probably because of the extra fuel. And all right, we're looking good. Fourth stint, only one more set of pit stops to survive. And Toyota has slid back down a bit. So if they're going to make any type of big charge, they're going to have to do it starting pretty soon. It's not looking like that's going to happen. Frisco will go conserve. Not quite equal on the energy, but close and equal on the tires. Time to burn through the last two hours here in Phoenix. Do another weather check. It's going to get a little cooler at the end. Which will allow us to be a little bit more aggressive on the tires that last stint. If we need it, which we certainly should not at this rate. Not quite all the way down, but we'll go ahead and boost back up here. Nearly a two minute advantage currently. Briscoe has closed some of the gap. Or, I think I said that backwards. Mueller has closed some of the gap on Briscoe. 
at least for the moment. But definitely car number two is still performing the best overall. 14 seconds, the current lead. Down to 10, but Briscoe's going to try to extend that here. We're probably going to leave some tire on this stint now, but I'm going to go conserve. Caution is the name of the game at this stage. Another 10 minutes, we can make our change over. We're going to have a little bit of extra fuel as well. Just make sure we don't get too low. We'll go neutral. This last small bit. I think, yeah, we're going to have Briscoe come in this next lap. Just finished the fired up zone. And wow, Ludwig, you're terrible. However, Castelli went a little bit too long for me to actually just give her the slot, otherwise I would. She still might make it. But again, we don't really need it here. I'm going to go with normal levels of fuel, more than we need. Once again, just being super safe. Mueller did end up shaving overall, maybe eight, nine seconds off the lead. Wait a minute. Am I, might be running him too long. Yeah, regardless, I'm not, because the other one's pitting right now. My mind is just not functioning. Okay. 33. Safe pit stop. But no, that was the right timing. So it'll be interesting to see if Ludwig stinking it up is enough to hold off a less unimpressive Van Hoor, but who is not really looking great for this to either. Both of those talented drivers just figuring to finish this race out in unimpressive fashion.
Thankfully, we don't need them to with a 200 second lead. Means we've lapped everybody twice. And most of them three times. <laughs> After the last race, this is crazy. And look at Ludwig picking up the pace to merely horrible. From abysmal to horrible, or would that be the other way around? Which is worse? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's move this along. And get this last hour of racing at Phoenix into the books now. Toyota still hasn't improved. So Toyota having what I believe is their worst race of the year. While we're having one of our best. That was nice of them. Slide to conserve and wait a bit longer on Van Hoor. That should be good. We are equalized for the final hour. Park condition. Engine looking a little iffy. Everything else is fine. And everything fine here for car number one. Not a big gap in form, but uh, Van Hoor's form is better. However, he doesn't seem to be able to take advantage of any of that just yet. So right now, it's definitely looking like Ludwig is going to hang on. Switch back up to neutral. Nope, I gave you extra fuel for a reason. Boy, our lead has really shrunk. I think that was just, I didn't wait long enough to see exactly what it was because they, the other cars hadn't finished that current lap when we pit. I think maybe that's where that came from. Yeah. Toyota might gain some, but I don't think they're going to gain a huge amount from this point. So both for the season and the race, now the fat lady is warming up. Both drivers staying steady at their unimpressive performance. But it will be enough, be well more than enough. As I say that, Ludwig ticks up a little more, and so does Van Hoor. Up a full point to almost even at five. 4-9. Close enough. Lead up to 20 seconds.
15 minutes to go. And now 10. No sign of trouble in sight. That engine went down a little bit more, but it's got plenty of juice. Definitely thankful for the reliability focus. The later in the year you get, the more that really shows itself, because you don't even have to worry about that anymore. Okay, let's slide to conserve. Both drivers now saying they have excess fuel, which is just where we want it. A few more times around, Ludwig. And despite your cruddy second stint of driving here, you can take that checkered flag. You know what, we'll just stay on hybrid. We're not even going to switch anything back. Hands off the controls. And there it is. Other than not getting the qualifying points again, we cannot say anything bad about this race. And even that's a small thing. think there are any collisions at all in this one. Good for you, Rebellion. We still lapped you in the race. Three miles shy. Top two teams. And wow, Toyota finished even worse than I thought. So 77 points. Well, let's see. So mathematically eliminated is now actually everybody except for Toyota. And we need to win the next race by 14 points, I believe, which is extremely doable. And if we do that, we will clinch and be able to do the final race in montage format. Otherwise, we'll have to play it out in its entirety. But in any case, it would take a collapse now for us not to win. It isn't over, but it's close. Good work by Mueller, adequate at best by the other two for car number one. See if Castelli continues to improve. She does. I don't think any of her other stats are going to boost up this year, but still, good season for her. Glad I hung on to her. And then Ludwig didn't get there, but the other two got to applaud their efforts as well. 1.6 million more in the bank, and we don't need to spend any more on anything. Car slid down, but again, we don't care. So it's going to be off to Sydney for the next one, where we'll be hoping to clinch. But in Phoenix, it was a banner day for Alpine Matmut. Two races left in the year, and we'll see if we can mathematically wrap this up next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.